And the mayor of Tallahassee, John Daly, joins us now. John, we hope everyone's okay. Some of the video that we're getting in is, is quite compelling. Let's start off, though. Do you have any reports of any casualties as a result of these storms? Well, first of all, I hope I'm coming in okay, and I'm sorry for the grainy uh, video. We're doing, we're doing this off the phone, but yeah, unfortunately, we have had one confirmed fatality, and of course, ask everybody to keep the family uh, in their prayers. Um, and of course, we're assessing the damage still, and we'll continue to do so. And uh, Mayor, I'm going to go ahead and step in. Marissa Torres yeah. over here. Um, you're looking at Stephen, though. So, Stephen, I don't know if you want to. You want me to go ahead and go take it? Go for it. Go Ta for it. Tallahassee, Mayor, <laughs> I mean, it's known for its trees. Um, we've seen sure. video of pretty extensive damage. Uh, what more can you tell us? I mean, the fact that there is one fatality, uh, sad enough, but the damage seems to be quite extensive. Sure. The damage is extensive. Uh, half of our customer base is without power right now. As you reported, we uh, are trying to confirm the exact number of tornadoes that did touch down in the Tallahassee area and in the Tallahassee metropolitan area, which includes three other counties as well. Um, schools are closed. The university got hit pretty hard as well, as was reported. And yes, we have power lines down and uh, we have electrical crews that are out working as hard as they can. Uh, we have brought in our mutual aid agreements from all over the southeast United States. We have help along the way to assist uh, the Tallahassee utility, but uh, we've got a lot of work to do. The city's power grid indicated some extensive damage. I mean, you had mentioned that. Is there any, I know it's tough to say, um, is there any indication of, of how bad in that how long this process might take to get the city back on? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and we're still in the assessment mode. Look, uh, you can have the best grid system in the world, but if you've got four tornadoes that touch down your community, you're going to have excessive damage. And so, again, we are encouraging all the residents of the Tallahassee, Leon County area to stay home, allow us to do the assessment, clear the power lines off the road. Y'all are showing the B footage, I believe, of uh, one of the fires that took place with the line on the road. It's just safe to stay home. Schools are closed. Everybody be safe. Let us do our job. Let uh, the good men and women of Tallahassee Utility uh, go out there, assess, and begin to put it all back together. But uh, it is going to take time. But uh, we are Tallahassee strong, and we're going to make it. Great words of advice there. I mean, you'd mentioned the schools and how there has been this almost snowball effect as a result of the storms this morning. Uh, Florida State University closed until further notice. Have you talked to officials there? Uh, students all accounted for, they're all safe, assuming? We have been in constant contact with the university between the city and the county as well. And we are a university town. We have Florida State, we have FAMU, and we have Towson Community College. Um, I, I don't know if we should count our blessings that graduation was last weekend. And the summer mm. semester has not started. So I, uh, I know that a lot of our student population is probably at home or on vacation outside of Tallahassee right now. So um, that, that is good news. But nonetheless, those students that are here in town, uh, we are doing everything we can to work with the university system to keep them safe and uh, to, to remind their families that they'll be safe as well. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, all kinds of services, I alluded to it at the beginning, uh, affected the bus service, trash pickup. Um, you're encouraging residents stay home if you can. Even the National Weather Service saying that they want to get out to damage, uh, survey some of this damage, but trees, the sheer number of trees down might um, sure. affect their, those, those surveys. The four tornado, sure. radar confirmed tornadoes that you saw, the, the damage surveys, they'll, they'll be determined how strong they were. This most recent though tornado in Tallahassee, from what I understand, it was back in March of 2019, it was an EF3. You were in office at the time. If you have been able to see some of this damage, um, describe the scope of it. It, lo it looks like a pretty significant event went through no matter how many tornadoes or how strong they were. Yeah, it was a, it was a it was a tremendous event today, no doubt about it. I mean, uh, the reports that I'm receiving is that we had wind gusts between 80 and 100 miles per hour. I mean, you know, that's hurricane strength, and so yeah. it was a significant storm that came through. And uh, what is concerning is we haven't even gotten into the storm season per se. That's what is, is so worrisome. And uh, talking to one of the residents of Tallahassee, mentioning how he's been through two hurricanes. I think back even to Adalia and uh, so close to, to your city. But as far as yep. these storms, it takes one complex. And he said, this is worse than any hurricane I, I've been through. Not to discount the threats that those uh, carry, but you, you get a spring system like this with a destructive wind event as, as we've seen unfolded. Um, we certainly are thinking about you guys. So sad to hear now, as you uh, just told us, that one fatality out of the city of Tallahassee. Mayor John Daly, thanks for being with us this morning, thinking about your community Thank now you. during this time.